I glued a little skinny sliver of walnut down here just to encase this cherry um, and that'll make a little more sense here in a minute. My glue lines are not the greatest which is unfortunate but it's those little imperfections that let you know that this was a handmade deal so I'm okay with it. So I'll show you what we're working with for wood. So what we have are walnut laminations, we have tapers, and we have parallel, and then we have one strip of maple lamination. We're going to lay them out like this. That way we have a maple accent strip running down the center. Because I wanted that maple accent strip, I had to go with several thin laminations. Should work out okay. That should look pretty nice. So those will be our limbs. And then we've got thin clear fiberglass. Okay, so what we need to do with the fiberglass is vacuum all the dust off of it um, and then put a piece of tape on it to protect the glass from scratches during the glue up and then we'll also mark our center line on the tape. Then we're going to cut one of them in half for the top side of the riser or the belly of the riser. Dry fitting is important because it shows us where we have problems before we glue up. You can see I've still got a little high spot right there. 
causing a gap here and here. So we need to sand that. And then I've got another one right there and there. So we'll mark those and I'll sand them. Okay, that's better. I think we're ready to roll. Like I mentioned earlier, this is my first time making this style of a bow. I built one laminated longbow in high school, but I bought this riser portion already pre-shaped. So I've never had to do that. <laughs> I didn't really know what I wanted when I started out. You know, like that piece of walnut down there was an afterthought piece of cherry being added to it was an afterthought. And the 
long as it holds together, it'll be okay. This is the part that makes me nervous, cutting into the side of it. Now that I've got all that extra glue sanded off, you can really see how I screwed up on my butt joints there. This one, the maple, is especially bad, but none of them are good. 45 degrees is obviously not enough surface area for the glue to set up, and those joints popped under pressure. The good news is they're full of glue all the way through. The other bit of good news is, is it's below center, so it'll be covered up by the handle and we won't see it.
they're bending evenly. That's just a piece of paracord. I should have a real tiller string. It looks like they're bending relatively easy, evenly. It looks like the bottom one is just a fuzz bit stiffer, which is what we want. Okay, here it is, roughed out, and it is very rough. I'm a little unhappy with the walnut showing in here. Uh, otherwise, it looks like a bow. So I'll probably end this video here. We've got a lot of work left to do, sanding and rasping.